Hi friends, AMD Vegan. It's time for tomato salad again. Yeah, tomatoes are cannot be replaced in the kitchen, very unique. It's by the way a fruit, but we all use it usually as a vegetable. Yeah. But botanically, when the seeds are inside, like then it's a fruit. Like a cucumber, avocado, these are all fruit. But for us in the kitchen, we put them usually in savory dishes with other vegetables, so <laughs> we call them vegetables. But who cares? Well, it's um, uh, wonderful to make these tomato salads. And I try them in all kinds of variations. I have uh, this dressing here, with my recent dressing, that is a sour cashew dressing. That was cashews, apple cider vinegar, pepper and salt, a little bit of garlic and water and blended. There's a video, can you watch? It's linked under this video, how to make it. It's very easy. You can make it thick or thinner. You can vary the quantities, the amounts of the ingredients, up to you. You can also change it afterwards. You have a ready, dressing ready made like this one. You can add a little bit of water or salt if you want to have it sour or more salty. Because for example, for, the, for tomatoes, uh, these like it sour. They like sour and more, a little bit more salty. Yeah, They like a strong dressing flavor sour especially and um, so I would have a little bit more sour in that maybe a little more salt a little more uh, apple cider vinegar but in general the, the sour cashew cream sour cashew dressing is already sour a little bit because of the apple cider vinegar so it is especially uh, nice for the tomatoes anyway but you don't always change a little bit today I have two ingredients that I love with tomatoes, that's a classic also. I have a large avocado or two small avocados as you like. And I have a nice onion here, cut into small pieces. And as I have here, you see these uh, avocado pieces and also the tomato wedges. Now the question how to cut it. You can have slices or wedges, for example. I have here wedges, that's very simple. You half the tomato, you quarter it, and then you cut the wedges down. Very simple. Yeah, that's nice because then they have a similar size as the avocados. And when I have these, I all I like to cut the onions into s small pieces, so chop them up. Yeah. So sometimes I don't pre prefer thinly sliced onions. Yeah. Depends on cucumber salad, for example, or other kinds of tomato salads where I have a sl sliced tomatoes. Always depends. So also the cutting can make a difference. So I have here this classic tomato, avocado, onion. Put it right away into my bowl. And then I have, these are, this is three parts here, three ingredients. Um, and that is one part of the, of the uh, salad, the recipe. The second part is the dressing. And the third, third part, always three, three parts, three ingredients, whatever you like. I have um, garden cress. You see, these are um, these uh, sprouts, or I would say is a herb also. I don't know what you, how you would classify that. Yeah? But they, you can buy them in these boxes in the supermarket or wherever you get that. Um, you can also sprout it yourself. They're very inexpensive, very easy to get, and they have a wonderful um, sharp flavor. They have, taste like radishes a little bit, but of course, you see, they have the, they, they're very tender, very small, tiny, <laughs> and there are so many different cress, <coughs> cress um, kinds, species. Um, they are with large leaves, they are huge leaves, and, but these are most available you can, I can get them everywhere, and um, here in Berlin, I mean, at least. And um, they have this um, this is radish-like sharp flavor, um, and they are from the cruciferous vegetable family. Crucifer cruciferous vegetables are uh, plants, uh, vegetables that sprout, uh, have these blossoms growing crosswise, so four little blossoms, petals crosswise growing, that's why they are called um, cruciferous. Yeah? The name reflects how they look. Uh, 
Uh, and the family is very significant because the cruciferous vegetables, they are among the healthiest we have. Uh, radish, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, cress, uh, they are all in uh, this family and can cure our, I mean, prevent or help with cancer. Yeah? So very potent plant and the flavor also very nice, this sharp flavor, yeah, they go very nice with these fatty ingredients from avocado and this watery flavor from the tomatoes. Yeah? Um, it's a wonderful seasoning and of course a wonderful green to add to many salads. Yeah? It's a perfect, I just take all the little box cut it all down and put them in there. Yeah. That's, that's very easy. And, I, and then I put my dressing on top. I show you what it looks like. Something is moving here. No, no, nothing's moving. <laughs> okay, I hope so. <clears throat> the, little, the little plants, they are, they are, um, they are moving, not the, not the animals. I, hope, I don't hope I have animals here now. Usually I, I take care of that. You see, this is the creamy dressing. It's a little bit creamier. Uh, just pour it over a little bit. The rest goes back into the refrigerator. And that means I can make another salad in a short time. Very simple, very easy. And um, that's why I like also the pre-made dressing. So I can make a quick salad anytime. And when I make a new dressing, now careful, I toss it carefully because um, uh, the avocados are soft. I don't want to mash them, so carefully do, tossing it, and then I'm done. That's that's all I have to do. Yeah, show you. Looks like it's my cress avocado tomato salad with the sour cashew dressing. Yeah, it's a full meal. Yeah. Avocado, tomato, <clears throat> they have the watery, the fatty, and then the sharp, the onion and the, the, the green cress and the cashew, the nuts. So that's really everything in I need for a nice meal and so easy to make. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like, like, subscribe, MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.